they came to quit. One by one, the Cypriot cabinet arrived, ready to tender their resignations. All 11 asked to stand down by a president desperate to restore confidence in his government. The president of Cyprus informed the ministers about his intention to reshuffle the government and for this very reason he asked for the ministers' resignation from their posts. The government in Nicosia is under pressure after an explosion at an arms dump which killed 13 people and wrecked the island's main power plant. The weapons had been seized in 2009 and stored on a base near Limassol. The explosion also injured more than 60 people, caused millions of dollars of damage to homes and businesses in the area. The state of the power plant means cuts in electricity supplies are now a regular occurrence, hitting the country's economic recovery. That's brought calls for President Dimitrios Christofias to resign. As the politicians left the meeting, they refused to talk to the cameras. They'll stay in position until replacements are named, the President hoping a new look cabinet will ease the pressure on him and his government. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera. Well, a little earlier I spoke to Dr Bernard Casey of the London School of Economics and University of Warwick. Now, he's an expert on Cyprus, and I asked him what had tipped the political balance in that country. The problem with Cyprus is that too many people had their eyes off the ball for too long. These were people inside Cyprus, and that might be the explanation for the problem with the power plant, but too many people had their eyes off the ball with respect to Cyprus as an economy and the problems of the Cypriot economy. And what we are seeing is a combination of both of those hitting us all at once. I guess it's pretty obvious that if Greece is in trouble, then Cyprus is going to be in trouble. If Greece is in trouble, Cyprus will be. It's, it's obvious, but people had not really uh, thought of it. Cyprus is intimately interrelated to uh, Greece. The t there are two banks in Cyprus which are the third and seventh most exposed to Greek government debt of all the banks uh, in Europe. Now, if you think that the electricity power station repair might cost up to 10% of GDP, Repairing the banks who have an exposure equivalent to 168% of GDP is even greater because if their exposure is actually only worth about half of what it is on their books, you can see the size of the problem. Shocking, shocking figures. A government spokesman has come out today and said, we're going to be fine, we're not going to need any sort of bailout. Do you think a bailout is likely? I think bailout is more or less inevitable. If you look at current um, Greek, uh, sorry, current uh, Cyprus uh, government uh, bond uh, yields, they have reached levels which are higher than the levels which were reached um, in Portugal and in Ireland before the Portuguese and the Irish bailouts. It seems to be almost inevitable.